Hey guys, so today I just wanted to talk about my thoughts on the iPod Touch. So as you may or may not know, there's been lots of rumors on the internet recently about Apple releasing a 7th generation iPod Touch. So this has happened a couple times already. Um, we saw this once and it was supposed to be released in September of 2017 with the iPhone X and that obviously didn't happen. And then there might have been other times too, but I don't know. Um, but this time is pretty much official because we've seen it in the code for iOS 12.2. And another thing that I discovered a while back is on my iCloud, if you go to settings and my devices, you can see, even though this is an iPod Touch 6th generation, it says iPod Touch 7th generation. <laughs> And um, I've seen that pretty much ever since iOS 12 beta. If we look through my camera roll here, because I did take a picture of it the first time I saw it. So it should be right around the release of iOS 12 beta. So we've got June 4th. There, there's WWDC. Okay, so right here, August 6th, 2018. You can see I took a picture of my iCloud settings and it says iPod Touch 7th generation. So yeah, kind of suspicious there. And then a lot more recently, I've been seeing in my settings on my iOS devices that it says iPod Touch 7th generation there as well, which is very interesting. So yeah, um, I guess we're getting a new iPod Touch, which I'm really excited about. I didn't know there was still a demand out there for these devices, but I never thought there would be another one. I, I mean, I hoped there would be. Um, but it's actually happening now, it's crazy. I'm definitely gonna buy it because I've been having quite a few issues with this one and we'll get into that. So it's speculated to be released with um, the iPad mini 5, another thing that hasn't been updated in a very long time and we thought was dead. Um, but those two and then a new uh, 10 inch iPad in March, I think. The process of selling this one on eBay right now. Um, so yeah, this is where I take my eBay photos is in this bathroom with this white poster board. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm actually gonna be selling this one and the reason why I wanna do it right now is because um, it's still obviously the current generation so I can get the most money out of it and the general population doesn't know about the iPod Touch 7th generation yet. So yeah. Um, if you guys are interested in buying my iPod Touch, it's on eBay right now. I just posted it, and, um, I mean, I've taken great care of this guy. Like, there's absolutely no scratches on the screen whatsoever. Back looks great. Just in fantastic condition. Um, and obviously I'm going to be including all the original packaging and accessories. Everything here is original. Um, I can have this sticker, so yeah, you'll be getting, it'll basically be like brand new almost, um, after two and a half years of using this. So if you want to buy this, um, I'll have the eBay link down below. I can even sign it if you want. Um, yeah, I'm probably not popular enough for that, but yeah, if you want my iPod. It's not that I've been dissatisfied with the performance of this iPod at this point. Um, I mean, it's, it runs like a charm on iOS 12. Um, so no complaints there, but this is a 16 gigabyte model, which is not enough for me personally. Um, obviously it's restored right now, but um, I used to have to have all of my apps like offloaded except the ones I wanted to use at that moment. Now it's not that there just wasn't enough storage on the iPod. It's something with iOS 11 and later where there's way too much space being taken up by the system. So you can see right now it's 4.92 but when I had all my stuff on it, it wasn't unusual for it to be like 12 gigabytes. So like I wouldn't have room for anything else. So it would just, it would just go up and down and it was a mess. And then I would have literally zero megabytes of storage left and it would make the device super slow and unusable. And then you'd have to wait like a few hours or like overnight and then it would go back down and it was just a nightmare and, it, and awful. And then the other thing is that it just won't back up to iCloud. And I think those two problems are related somehow. Um, I think it's trying to back up to iCloud. It's like taking up too much storage. I really don't know what's going on. 
and this would especially happen when it was um, plugged in and connected to Wi-Fi. Um, if it was just plugged in in an airplane mode, that wouldn't happen. But um, plugged in and on Wi-Fi, then it would do that. And I think it was maybe trying to back up to iCloud, although I thought it had to be like a few hours after it was plugged in for it to back up to iCloud. But maybe since um, it had been so many weeks, it just wanted to do it right as soon as I plugged it in. So yeah, definitely need at least 32 gigabytes of storage in my next one. I had this problem like once, maybe twice on iOS 11, but with iOS 12, it's just been every single time I try to use it when it's plugged in. So it's very, very annoying. But if you guys have like a lighter iCloud account, like I had 25,000 photos, maybe that had something to do with it. But like if you guys just have the standard five gigabyte plan or even the 50, um, I don't think you should have any of those problems. Um, I have the 200 gigabytes, so yeah. I think it was just too much for this to handle. I don't know, but um, iOS 12 has been great on all my devices. Um, anyways, so yeah, that is my iPod and why I'm selling it, why I need to get a new one. So I'm thinking I want product red for my next iPod. Um, originally, I was just going to sell that one. I obviously wasn't expecting there to be a seventh generation coming out. I was just going to get another 6th gen and a higher storage. Um, but now, since there's a new one coming out, I'll just do that. And I'm sure they'll have it in red. I've never had a product red Apple device, so it should be pretty cool. Red's a cool color. Um, so yeah, as for the specs of the new iPod, I'm predicting like at least an A10 chip, um, maybe A11. Probably not A12. Um, maybe but like i don't want my ipod to be more powerful than my phone um anyway so yeah probably a10 i'm guessing two gigs of ram storage maybe 32 128 and 256 maybe i don't know um but yeah i'm wondering if they'll just keep the exact same design and just updated specs and camera or if they'll actually make it bigger screen or any of that um yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I'm really excited for it. And yeah, again, if you want to buy my iPod, you can find that link in the description. And that's just my little thoughts on the iPod Touch. Um, yeah, I guess people still use these. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.